Who is the last man to look through those empty eyes? What was his name? What did he see? It's funny how the things that get left behind can become composites. We are grasping in the dark. We stitch together patches from many similar yet different stories to create one. The collected fragments form mosaics of possibility and offer glimpses of a world gone by. We think we know about the men who wore these things, but do we? Men like Signifer Flavinus, who died at the age of 25, at Corbridge in the first century AD. Sexus Valerius Genialis, a Gaul who served in a Thracian alley, buried by his son in Sirencesti. And Longinus Stepezi, a double pay Thracian, who died earlier in the century and left provision in his will for a tombstone to be erected in Colchester. They were all horsemen, drawn from across the empire, serving far from home in Britannia. Many would find a soldier's grave here in lonely frontier cemeteries where the legions buried their dead. Many, like the statue of the noble warrior from Vacheris, were Celts, wearing the armor of Rome, but also the talk of their ancestors. Although they paid homage to the god emperor, and other adopted deities, sacred to the Roman army. Most still believed that Epona rode beside them in battle. The mother of horses could be relied upon, they thought, to watch over all of her children. The cavalry of old Gaul. We know how they fought and who they fought with shield and spear, sword and javelin, with unsurpassed skill and prowess. Their cousins beyond the reach of civilization. Fighting as they had been trained, responding to orders given in their own language, repeating the movements of the cavalry exercises dressed like demigods, as described by Arian. The horsemen enter fully armed, he wrote, and those of high rank or superior in horsemanship wear gilded helmets of iron or bronze to draw the attention of the spectators, made to fit all round the faces of the riders with apertures for the eyes. From the helmets hang yellow plumes. As the horses move forward, the slightest breeze adds to the beauty of these plumes. Did the man who wore this helmet ride in the exercises? Did he also fight under Agricola at the edge of the world? Did he patrol the lonely miles of Hadrian's Wall and think of home? He must have seen the frontier in all its monumental glory. Could he have known that people thousands of years in the future would still be looking at him? Could he conceive of a world without Rome? Did he ever, in his wildest dreams, imagine that someone would behold the cold strangeness of his mask and ask, who are you? What was your name? And what did you see? <laughs>